In this video, I want to show you a demonstration of my Excel direct mail man campaign tracker that I created for this blog post. It's based off the logic of the SI Lead Manager version 7 application that I have for sale. What I'm going to do to show you how to use this application is quickly add a new template and then create a campaign based off that template. So we'll come in here to the campaign tablet, campaign templates tab. I have two of them in here by default. We'll add a new template. We'll call it new template. We'll assign a couple mailings. First sequence, we'll pick a letter. Go to the leads, marketing, letters, out of state owners. First one, they'll start on day zero. Create mailing. Add a second one. Letter two. Now that's 30 days from the start of the mailing. We'll add the third one. We'll call that 60 days after the start. So now we have three letters in this campaign template that will start off going out on the first day, the 30th day, and the 60th day. So let's create this template. It shows up here. And now on this tab, you can see the three mailings that are set up for this template. Now let's go use this template and create a campaign. So let's go to the campaigns tab, click add campaign, send out a probate mailing, select the list for my probate leads, select the mailing, new template, has three mailings. We're going to start it off today. Not sure how many leads there are. We'll call it 500. And we'll add the campaign. Now it shows up here. Now it's highlighted in yellow and this, the grid row is uh, expanded just to kind of bring attention to the fact that it's scheduled to go out today. If we had one scheduled for tomorrow, it would be a little bit a lighter shade of yellow and anything in the next seven days is bolded anything after that is just standard text no highlighting if it's past due it shows up in this uh, pinkish color and is italics and if it's completed it's grayed out and showed in italics so now we have one let's create another mailing we'll call it probate campaign number two Pick another camp probate list. We will also we'll use a single mailing for this one just to show you the difference. And we'll start this guy on the 26th. And this one has 200 leads. So now you can see it shows up. It's in standard text, no highlighting, no bold, no italics. That means it's to be mailed out further than seven days in advance. Now what we can do is we'll go to the campaigns mailings tab and I'll show you how this is set up. So we have the first campaign here and each of these records, there's three records representing each of the mailings that are set to be sent out. It shows you the, the list name, the sequence number, the letter that will be sent out, the status which is scheduled now. If it's mailed this will show up as saying mailed the scheduled date that they're supposed to be sent out, the date they're sent out, which is zero, hasn't been sent out yet, and then the number of mailings. This is the first campaign and this is the second one. So now let me come in here and say, okay, I finished putting this mailing together. One of three, let's send a mail. Click this link. Now it is sent. We're at two of three. The next scheduled mailing is four 11 2015 and now let's go to this tab and you'll see that what happened so now this is the mailing we sent out the status has been changed to mailed and the date sent was today matches up so we sent it today now this is the mailing that shows up next and if we were to hit mail sent again this line would fill up mailed for the status date sent would also be 312 and we move on to the next one. So 
that's basically how it all works. It's very simple, straightforward, and that's about it. I mean, you can, if you set up a mailing or a campaign and you don't want it anymore, you can select the line, hit delete campaign, and it goes away. See, it also goes away on this side. So there you have it. It's a very simple, straightforward. It comes directly from the logic from SI Lead Manager version 7. It's a bit simplistic compared to what SI Lead Manager can do. I mean, that application will automatically mail merge the letter with your list. This one you have to do it manually, but that's okay. So it's not that hard. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. It's Scott at strugglinginvestor.com, and I hope you enjoy this free template. Thank you.